Anyone who is looking to increase their supply of NAD in the body by taking nicotinamide riboside or NMN, do you think we should keep an eye on methylation and methyl groups? Because isn't it possible that we could use up too many of the methyl groups as we're getting rid of methyl nicotinamide, and then we know that the methyl groups are needed to affect biochemistry with homocysteine, with catecholamine degradation in the brain, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So it's anecdotal right now, but to me it makes sense. And in an abundance of caution, I'm um, making sure I have enough methyls in my diet. And you can get them in a variety of ways. There's betaine, which is also known as TMG, trimethylglycine. Right, right. Um, you can buy that. I, I've got a bit at home. You can buy it as a powder and you can just eat it. It doesn't taste too bad. Um, it's not going to hurt you as far as I'm aware. You can also uh, take a, a combo of um, methylfolate and methyl B12, mm -hmm. which is um, you can get on, you know, on, uh, on the internet. And uh, I, I feel like that is uh, my best solution to this potential problem of yeah. losing methyls to the excretion of nicotinamide. Yeah. And I, but I take glycine, actually specifically trimethylglycine, is, is actually to, to counter what I think might be going on with an NAD booster. Now, to raise NAD levels, what we've done in my lab to mice for the last decade is we give them precursors to NAD. So we give them molecules like nicotinamide riboside or NR, or nicotinamide mononucleotide, also known as NMN, not to be confused with m &Ms, <laughs> which will have the opposite effect. And uh, so NMN is, is what I take each day. I take a, a gram of it. But the thing with nicotinamide mononucleotide NMN is that it, it has this nicotinamide group on it. It hangs off the, the main part of the chemical, and it's the first bond to break. And so we see in animals and even in humans that the levels of nicotinamide go up quite rapidly after taking NMN or NR. And too, too high levels of nicotinamide are not good, um, in part because the nicotinamide gets excreted through the kidneys and it's done so, that happens because it becomes methylated into methyl nicotinamide. Mm -hmm. And methyl nicotinamide has been used for, for years as a marker of all sorts of things, in, including at least experimentally for Parkinson's disease. But the concern that's, that's been talked about uh, in social media especially is, is this drain of methyl nicotinamide a problem? The, the methyl groups are, are needed for the body. We need methyl for a whole range of things, including um, antioxidants. And uh, so as a precaution, I take trimethylglycine so that uh, I continue to give the, my body a source of methyl groups. Now, I don't know if that's true. Uh, people ask me all the time. I take it as a precaution because I know that trimethylglycine is not going to hurt me. Glycine is mm -hmm. good, as you mentioned, Joe. Um, and the other thing is trimethylglycine is also known as betaine, uh, which on human cells is very good for them, um, including protecting them against stress. So I don't, I don't see any downside. It's not an expensive molecule. And the upside is that I'm preventing my body from being drained of methyl groups. So I do take it as a precaution, knowing that, that it's probably not doing anything um, except goodness. Mm -hmm.